Alright, now, what we have then is uh, Dexter. He spent all this time with us. Absolutely understands who he is, the reincarnate of, how fate had got him here without him knowing anything about the Bible. Yes, yeah, sorry. Where are you going? Oh, um, so thinking about, um, you know, the dates and the timing on everything. Well, remember, Sunday was the 26th of August, the 16th anniversary of G-Day in my own life. And remember, I had the conversation explaining what all, and I always thought that one time in the future, D-Day would become the 180. Well, Dex took himself to the airport on D-Day 26, telling the world who you are, then make him legal immediately, even though he'd been here illegally for eight months. And then he phoned and you speak to him Sunday night, we're gathering for dinner, weren't we? But with Doug. Mm. He's leaving the airport, telling you... With Julia Gillard, was Pardon? Did you say Julia Gillard? No, no, no. I'm, I'm no. talking about... What do you think of her, by the way? Pardon? What do you think of her? Well, I, I was actually impressed with the way that she handled the bullshit of the press, press the other day. I mean, um, to a matter of fact, it was obvious she was telling the truth. She wasn't trying to hide anything. And she was putting these fuckwits in their places. What I, they must be trying to set her up for something because it, the way designers do, perhaps she's not performing the way that uh, they wanted to perform. She certainly, she told Australia, well, you don't need the Queen's Diamond Jubilee Gold Medal. Australia has our own medal system. That'd be a slap in the face for the monarchy. Love it. Even though the little guy at the RSL was all pissed off because he didn't get his medal for what, seven to four? <laughs> um, anyway, getting back to Dex. So, Dex turns himself in on the anniversary of D-Day, 26th of August. You speak to him. He's on his way back to where he was staying. His words were, um, I have to be back here in the morning, meaning the airport, to negotiate who's going to pay his way home. Because he, Dex certainly wasn't going to pay it. So we come downstairs in the morning, so that's Sunday night, we start, so let's say it was 6.30 at night time, 18.30. We come down the stairs this morning at 7.30 and my phone goes off with a text. And the text is from Jonas saying, hi, I'm home. I'm about to crash. I'll give you the lowdown later. However, the time that the text was sent was last night, the 27th, at 22.14, so 8.14 in the evening. Now, if Dex had been stepping on... 75. Pardon? 75 plus 3... 78. 78. Plus 3. 78. That's the number. It's the money I've got in my pocket. $78. No? And there's my RSL thing. <laughs> Ending with 694. Or 697. 697, isn't it? 697. Alright, so Dex has got home. Supposedly he was to go back to the airport Monday morning, Australian time. So that means that he got home to London, England in about, uh, let's see. If he'd been out there at 8.30 in the morning, by the time that text came in, it would have taken him 11 hours and 14 minutes. Well, there we go. 11.14. 11 hours and 14 minutes to fly from Sydney, Australia, 12,000 miles away to London. Impossible. Mm -hmm. Even if they picked him up back, say they let him leave the airport, or say they accosted him, at, once again at the airport. They didn't let him leave. He got the phone call out, that's it. Then they, they got him again and said, we've got to get rid of this guy quick. So they put him on the airplane immediately. So what? So the airplane took off at 7.30 Sunday night, leaving Australia. Dex gets back to his place 
to send the text at 8.14. So what are we looking at? Maximum 25 hours. Maximum. I considered the horns, and behold, there came up among them another little horn before whom there were three of the first horns, three dollars, <coughs> plucked up by the roots. And behold, in this horn were eyes of a man and a mouse begging great things, the money. I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the Ancient of Days did sit, whose garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head like the pure wool. His throne was like the fire flame, and his wheels as burning fire. Well, it's obvious to me, huh? Hello! <laughs> I'm calling you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Seventy-eight dollars. <laughs> they got all his eyes looking at you. There's a couple right there. Right. Like, you go back and try and see if you can explain that in a vision on the island of Patmos. Now we do have an alternative currency, which I have made, and uh, it's for New Guinea and Harcourt. There's some more eyes looking at you. Ten eyes looking at you. <coughs> this is good. <coughs> you get two eyes <coughs> of a twenty <coughs> looking at you, but she's wearing glasses with two spectacles, so you get double vision. That was a sailing ship, and now we're into the future, <coughs> and we've got an aircraft and double spectacles once again, and there's three of those. Now, then we have <coughs> the numbers. We have a two, four, six, nine. How's he? Oh. Worldliness. Of course it is. Okay, you get over this. What is the flight time duration from Sydney to London? It can be done in 21 to 22 hours. Obviously, jet stream comes into play. So that's similar to the Nav team right here. Can you land in the airport? Put him on the aircraft. Here we go. Or Dexon looked up the flights the, the to arrive there at that moment. So that's putting straight on the flight. The, here we go. It can be done in 21 to 22 hours, and obviously, jet stream coming into play. Wind blowing from the front, that is a lot of But the benchmark is 21 to 22 hours. The shortest flight duration is 21 hours and 35 minutes. So... 21.35. Yeah. Clean, clear, count, pure. Yeah, so London and Sydney, about 22 to 23 hours, no matter which airline, there will be a stop. Typical stop can include Dubai, Bangkok, Singapore, and Hong Kong. Impotent or unmarried man? <laughs> Sorry, Vic. That's what it says. So the shortest flight time is 20 hours to 35 minutes. So considering that Dex uh, called up, say, 6.30 Sunday night, if he'd been getting onto the aircraft... I'm not saying it. <laughs> if 
him being getting onto the aircraft then instead of walking out of the aircraft for it like he thought he was to come back in the morning he would have got in at about 3.30 hour time yesterday afternoon. So, is it possible? Yeah, sure. But they must have nabbed him. Put him back on there. He's <coughs> walked out there at the exact moment when the plane is ready to go and they delayed it five minutes, put him on, he's gone. Mm. First plane. He convinced them that we are, we see we are. And you can bet your bottom dollar on that. Green. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you say? That's a ripping yarn, isn't Check it? The kiddies would love it. So we want to see uh, Prince Philip uh, in public at all times because he is going to drop dead in public. He owes that to his people. Stars do say, however, that he will drop dead in public. <laughs> Not my fault, it's your fault. 